Joe Biden is now cutting off specific arms that Israel has requested while he's funding Iran, and nobody's cutting off arms to Iran. He's funding Hamas through UNRWA. Nobody's cutting off arms to Hamas, except the Israelis. Uh, Hezbollah is poised to attack Israel. So in other words, Iran is uh, pushing all its buttons while it is pursuing and developing and will achieve a nuclear weapon. Uh, Biden's not doing anything to Iran. He's not doing anything about the nuclear weapon. Here at home, day after day, we have these little crystal knocks going on in our country. It's his party. It's his voters, as you said. He wants in Michigan and Minnesota and other states, he wants to bring back his voters. These Jew haters, these anti-Semites who are saying these things and doing these things are his voters. Is the Democrat Party so corrupt? Is it so immoral? Is it so focused on power that country comes second, that morality comes second, that everything else comes second except raw power? Is that what's going on? Spot on. That's exactly what's happening is that they are trying to win in November. And right now they have too many Democrat voters who have turned on Joe Biden. They, they look at approval ratings. They look at favorability ratings. And they decide that the math doesn't work in some of these swing states if they don't adjust their strategy towards Israel and Iran. Like right now, the president, President Biden and this administration, they're treating Iran like Israel and Israel like Iran. President Biden inherited a maximum pressure campaign on Iran that was working, inherited it from President Trump. And you see people surrounded, uh, surrounding President Biden who were there surrounding President Obama just years prior, and they want to put back that Obama legacy. It was not a good one to be trying to put together. It was the fatally flawed Iran nuclear deal. It was the UN Security Council resolution in December of 2016, essentially seeking to ethnically cleanse Judea and Samaria of Jews. And then we all remember January of 2017, just weeks before before President uh, Trump got sworn into office, John Kerry goes over to overseas for a 90-minute lecture of Israel. President Trump comes in, Abraham Accords, move the embassy in Israel to Jerusalem, recognize Israeli sovereignty over the Golan Heights, sign the Taylor Force Act into law to cut off taxpayer-funded funding towards entities that want to financially reward terror. President Biden comes into office and he's rolling so much back on the policy. But what we are seeing as far as it being sped up in these recent weeks, it's not just solely based on trying to put a failed legacy back together from the pre-Trump days. This is about pandering to a block of the Democrat vote to stop bleeding in polling. And I think what's going to happen is that they're going to end up with an even deeper cut in another part of their body because there are a whole lot of other people who actually do support Israel. They do want a strong U.S.-Israel relationship. They don't want to see the Jewish population in this country thrown under the bus, and they do want what they know to be morally right. So this strategy, it's wrong on the merit. It's certainly wrong in the politics uh, in my position. And I think that it is uh, just for anyone who's pursuing power in this country, in this greatest country in the history of the world, it is worth going down and losing an election, doing the right thing. Unfortunately, that is not something that these Democrats are willing to do. I'd rather lose an election fighting for what's right than pandering to this block of vote, taking to the streets, using October 7th as a rallying cry towards action. I agree with that. I do think it goes a bit further. I do think that they're true believers in this administration. As you pointed out, they worked for Obama. These are true believers who do not believe that the state of Israel is a legitimate state. These are true believers who believe that Israel is an oppressor regime, even though it only acts to defend itself. They're true believers who believe the propaganda of the Muslim Brotherhood, of Hamas, of Islamic Jihad, of Iran. And they're, of course, true believers, and that would include the Secretary of State, Mr. Blinken. That would include his former, now disgraced envoy, Mr. Mali, who were giving the ship away, the store away, to the Iranians as they build nuclear weapons. And they're going to get nuclear weapons funded by us. They have a military, again, that has been funded by us. President Trump threw them on their back, had his foot on their throat, and uh, Joe Biden gave them CPR. And that does not explain the politics in our country. 
There's something ideological going on here, and it's very dangerous. It's called the realignment. They want to realign the Middle East. They don't want Israel to be the most powerful force. They're okay with Iran getting nuclear weapons to create a balance. They believe that Israel should be carved up. That's an illegitimate state. This is what Obama believes. This is what the Marxists believe. This is what the, the radicals in the Democrat Party believe. So, yes, it's for power, but it's also because they hate the state of Israel. We have to accept that fact. And Joe Biden is part of it. Joe Biden is leading it. Whether he's got three brain cells or not, it doesn't much matter. It's through him and his office that they're doing it. Uh, and he's the one responsible for it. And the fact that he won't open his mouth to condemn his voters about what they're saying in the streets, what they're promoting in the streets, what they're doing on our college campuses, what they're doing in Hollywood, says everything we need to know about Joe Biden. Was a racist segregationist early in his career. And today, as history will point out, in my view, he's an anti-Semite. Congressman, I want to thank you very much. Lee Zeldin, you're a good man. God bless you, brother. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.